and you might understand now why I am here as well. <laughs> Uh, Gawk and Lebron joining us live on Good Day Sacramento this morning. I know you probably can't see me, but I'm wearing a Broncos hoodie. I have a Broncos cup. These are not props. I literally brought these to work today because I am celebrating a big win. And I was saying to the ladies, why am I like this? I mean, sports rule my life on the weekends, but you're saying I am not alone. You are definitely not alone. And I've been alerted that I'm speaking to a Broncos fan and a Seahawks fan, I also understand, so I'm going to try to keep this. I'm a diehard Patriots fan, so oh! I'm going to rock evening for me last night. Oh! And, um, oh! I'll but, try to keep I the gloating in, to a minimum. <laughs> right. Well, I believe in deliverance, and so I, you know, I expect it to come back around. But, yeah, look, you guys all already know, like, why do we become a part of something greater than ourselves and why do we buy into these things that we know despite wearing our jerseys and the strange rituals and superstitions that we observe that we have very little if any control over the outcome and yet we still believe and and that's really what this series explores we make deals with the devil i mean you know when you're watching a game you make deals if please if you just let them win if you just let them win i promise i'll never you know fill in the blank is this more of a, a modern day reaction to sports teams i mean how far back does this kind of obsession go you know i mean it goes back as far as human civilization goes back because we thrive off of competition um, you know sports provides us an opportunity to become part of something greater than ourselves we we go on these pilgrimages to these places mm -hmm. and we buy into something and and they give us a sense of belonging and community um, you know these curses that we're a part of etc <laughs> um, you know we all saw it with the Cubs and I mean they said when the Cubs won the parade that they had in downtown Chicago was the seventh or eighth largest human gathering in the history of human civilization. <laughs> sports are powerful and it doesn't, you know, I will say not only is sports a religion, it's a better religion because it doesn't <laughs> require dogma, doesn't really require faith, it requires attendance, you know, mm -hmm. miracles happen. You, yeah. you enjoy those couple hours on a Sunday. <laughs> uh, so many hours of football and all different kinds of sports. Um, we have seen some really unique um, I guess shows of devotion you know our Sacramento Kings we've mm -hmm. seen people get tattoos of their favorite teams um, Cody one of our <laughs> one of our anchors on the show I, a few years ago what did he shave he uh, waxed he had waxed. the Colts uh, horseshoe uh, Indiana, uh, for the Indianapolis for, Colts uh, uh, waxed into his chest maybe the question should be is there a downside about this religion <laughs> of sports right are we taking it too far <laughs> Look, I mean, like like traditional religion, there are scandals, there are dark sides to sports, and yes, I mean, to become obsessive or addicted to anything is dangerous, but I would say, by and large, you know, the benefits, like religion, outweigh um, the costs, because I think people get a sense of meaning and purpose and significance okay. and it's not only you know these big professional sports that we're talking about it's at the local level mm -hmm. it's at the community level um, you know anybody who's a parent realizes you know their kids aren't necessarily going to perform at you know aren't necessarily going to make the major leagues and yet the things that they learn by being part of a team um, the discipline all of that you know there's a great value to sports and so um, I think you know this isn't really to me isn't a metaphor an allegory Sports is a religion, wow. and if you're part of it, either as a fan or an athlete, you kind of get that. Yeah, you do. Hey, thank you for being on Good Day this morning. Uh, no hard feelings with the, after yesterday's <laughs> game with the Patriots and the Seahawks? Are we friends? Uh, I'm practicing grace. <laughs> <laughs> <Are> you, <though? laughs> no. We are, too, by speaking with a Patriots fan. I'll have you know. Oh, it's exactly. very hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks uh, so much for being on Good Day Today. Watch for that on DirecTV. I know. Thanks cool very idea much. Cool idea for a documentary. Great. Yeah, really? it was awesome. And, in fact, I even looked up the, the uh, definition of religion just to see, like, is it really a religion? But it talks about, you know, uh, the feeling of, like, a, of a supernatural power or mm -hmm. even just a super, kind of a superhuman being. Interesting. You know, like, like Russell Wilson, mm -hmm. you know, people like that. And people, these people that you look and they're like, how do they do this? And yeah, to, power I know. to bring a community together, yeah, uh, especially in divided times, it really it, it's I know. interesting. It'd just be great if everybody, you know, oh, and to see it have both sides at the end of the game, shake hands and, and walk right. away and be cool. That is, yeah. I think, the most right? impressive exactly. thing. Exactly. Yeah. All right, still to come, the son of renowned psychic Sylvia Brown is following in her footsteps. Chris is going to be answering your questions live on this show.